All right, so scroll trick. There's a mechanic on Eternal Darkness that every time you had to examine an item to open it or to do something, you have to scroll down, all the way down in this message text box. So there's two ways to do that. There's the intended way and the scroll trick that we call. So the intended way is you just, you press the thing and then after you press A here, while this thing is zooming on, like this, you want to hold down already, okay, preventively. That saves a couple of frames on this scroll down. It's useful. And then you press A. You can press A. There's a specific frame where you can press it, but let's say as soon as you see it, you can kind of press it. And you should just match A. So that's the regular form of scroll. That's like normal scroll. Now, some of these scrolls are very long. This is one of the longest ones, on items at least. So the alternative for that, it's what we call the scroll trick. Basically, as soon as the game registers that you see this text box, if you see it again, you can get rid of the thing immediately. Like the game will think you already read the thing. Like if you go all the way down and then try it again, you can press A from any part of the text box like this, okay? We're gonna trick the game into thinking that we, we have done that. So you press this, and as soon as you see this frame, you do a scroll on your inventory. So RL or LR, doesn't matter which one. And you can do that pretty fast. And then just match A and you're gonna get it. So the important thing is that you do it, I think it works on like one frame before this text box appears. That's kind of dangerous. So you probably wanna do it as soon as you see the text box. And the scroll, you can do it as fast as possible. You actually need just one frame to press R and one frame to press L. <laughs> That's not very human, of course, but you can do it pretty fast. So like, you want to do that. So this trick actually doesn't save all that much time, but it's enough time to be worth it. Not every item has the same scroll lines. It's different from item to item and it's different from version to version. So I have an image for you that is gonna be very useful right here. What this thing says is everything that is on red, you don't wanna do a scroll trick. You just do a normal scroll. And then everything that's green, you wanna do a scroll trick. Some of these things are actually faster with scroll trick, but the main problem is that those are faster for like three frames, maybe. So yeah, if you feel like a TAS, you can go for some of those hard ones, but in general, I don't recommend it. I recommend to just stick to this graph. And this is every single version, it's on this graph, okay? Edward, it's on a different place on this graph because you don't play Edward on any person. But in case you wanna go for individual levels, you always want to do a scroll trick on Edward because those books are pretty long. And yeah, like for example, if you play Korean, you don't need any scroll trick at all. Or if you play Paul on Spanish, that's another thing. If you play US, which is the most common version, you have to do scroll trick on Spice Jar and Leather. If you play Japanese, you gotta do scroll trick everywhere. So yeah, that's it.